Welcome, welcome everyone. My name is Nate the Great, and today we are going to be talking about Animal Crossing's latest update, and specifically, we are going to be talking about the new custom design Pro Editor Plus. And my goodness, that is starting to be quite the mouthful to say. However, it's pretty awesome. So if you haven't gotten it yet, it's at the Nook Stop. You just go there, it's 2,000 miles, and it automatically updates to your phone. With this update to the Custom Designs app, you get a couple of new features. First off, you get 50 more slots for your, the regular Custom Designs and then also the Pro Designs. And then on top of that, the cool thing is we also get four of these variety goods. So we get umbrellas, Uchiwa fans, small handheld fans, and face cutout stands. And today I'm going to be sharing a variety of different tips and ideas that will hopefully help you guys to get those creative juices flowing and make some really awesome designs. First up are the handheld flags. The handheld flags have three different parts to them that can be customized. You have the front of the flag, the back of the flag, and then you also have the flag pole. Now the flag pole actually has three different parts to it as well. You have the midsection of the pole, and then you also have the top cap and the bottom cap. One thing to remember is that the top square and the bottom square both correspond to the color that those flag pole caps are gonna be. Now here you can see a variety of different flags that I've made, and these are meant to celebrate some of the people and cultures and countries that I've been to throughout the world. However, if you don't see the flag from the country you're from, feel free to let me know in the comments down below and I'll make it for you. Next up is the umbrella. Now the umbrella is pretty simple to do. There's a hexagon for you to customize, which is the top of the umbrella. However, there's also a square down at the bottom that corresponds to the color of the handle of the umbrella. Now when I was first making these umbrellas, I wasn't really for sure what to do with the design and I was doing pretty standard umbrellas. However, towards the end, I thought it'd be fun to make umbrellas based off of Pokemon. One really great thing about the umbrellas is that you can use them to further customize your outfits. I love Pikachu and so I downloaded a couple of Pikachu designs to add to the umbrella that I had just made. Next up is the face cutout stands. Now this is one of my absolute favorite ones. Here you can see one that I did of Link and it turned out so great in my opinion. One thing that really helps to make these designs stand out and look better, I think is to do a white outline around the character that you're making. For me, when I added in this white outline, it really helped them to stand out and look much better than they did before. I am just so happy with how these turned out and I hope you guys enjoy these too. Now, last but not least is the Uchiwa fan. Uchiwa fans are typically held by people in Japan during summer or Japanese festivals. And I've created a couple of different fans that hopefully represent the different Japanese omatsuri or Japanese festivals that are held throughout the summer. They're a lot of fun to, to hold and to fan yourself and to beat the heat. And one other great thing about these Uchiha fans is that they're kind of small, so you don't have to be too detailed in your designs because they're going to be seen from a distance. Let me know down in the comments below if you're going to use any of the designs that I presented today, and make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye